Hello, and welcome to Alma, Missouri. Now, we've already fed the cattle, and, uh, well, today, today is a great day for hay. Okay, because, well, our alfalfa is ready, all right, and we're in our Heston. We also might be in our other Heston. Yeah, hey, you guys heard me right. The other Heston, yeah, the Baylor that, you know, w w that was here when we bought the farm that was broken. Yeah, I think we might have it fixed now. I'm not too sure that we do, but, you know, w this is the first time of the year we get to test it out. So let's go, uh, let's go make some hay. Whoa. Now that is a windrow. Goodness gracious. Whew. Um, I, I guess good things happen when you actually take care of your fields. <laughs> I think it's a good thing that we got the Hested up and potentially working because uh, we're definitely going to need to bid up some bigger bales this year. Oh, I don't know if I have enough places to store all these bales. So as I was sitting here in the swather, um, I, I may or may not have been doing some shopping. And uh, I might have bought a another piece of equipment. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm just I'm, I'm kind of just waiting on it to show up. Uh, Bought it from one of the local guys. He's having an auction. And, uh, well, I'm I'm kind of excited for it. I I needed something, you know, that I could I could take out into the fields and, and get every, all the all my spraying done and everything else. And it still has some horsepower on it, so it it should be able to handle everything pretty well. So uh yeah, once that once that gets here to the uh farm, I'm I'm definitely gonna show you guys. Well, we are finishing up this field. This is the last cut. We have made a massive improvement in the yield just by actually properly taking care of the field. And now it is time to go show you guys uh, our, our new piece of equipment. But here is our new piece of equipment. It's a little uh, case 7150. Two-wheel drive. Oh yeah. Hmm. She's 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 a little beat up, as you guys can tell. I mean, like, ooh, look at those rims. Hmm. Yeah, you need paint. Oh wow. Yeah. Yeah. She's she's definitely a little beat up. Okay. She's she's not pretty. Okay, but you know what? It'll work great for spraying, and it will work great for bailing. Okay. So let's go. Or actually, no, we could we could use this all throughout the rest of the day today. Ooh, and it has 269 hours. Nice. I was going to use the other case. I, I and I actually, you know what? We're going to go. We're going to go take those duels off. We don't need them. I don't know why they are on there, but yeah, let's let's get those off here real quick. There we go. That looks a lot better. I like that. Now she looks nice and compact. All right, come on. Get over here. There we go. Oh. There we go. Now it's time to go get everything raked up. Well, this tractor may be old, but it still runs this windrower pretty darn well. And... I think we're going to get plenty of use out of it, if I'm being completely honest. Because, uh, well, I'm kind of, I'm kind of digging this, this, this little two wheeler. We don't, I haven't had very many two wheelers in my uh, farming career, and this is, this is a nice little one. I'm not going to lie. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Can we make those go together? Oh, we can. Sweet. Pick it up there. Turn it off. Fold you up. All right. Let's get going back. 
And uh, I'm going to go get the other case off the baler. And we're going to run these two together today. Because uh, hopefully, hopefully, guys, um, you know what? They'll play nice together. And the new tractor will bring us good luck. And the baler won't be broken anymore. Here's to hoping. Okay. Got everything hooked up. Oh, oh. And get that unfolded. Okay. I don't know what's unfolding, but okay. All right, let's try it now. Are we working? <gasps> We're working. Oh, this is awesome. We're finally making bales, guys. Yes! Wait, what size of bales are we making? Ah, uh, oh. Oh, turn that off. Uh, before we kick out a full bale, um, where do I need to go to change the sizes? Oh, okay. Okay, there it is. Got it. All right. Now, well, let's get that shut. Maybe. Oh, there we go. Okay. Fire back up. Let's make some bales, because I'm really curious as to how... Oof. Oof. Yeah, those windrows are a little tall there, guys. I'm not going to lie. Come on. Come on, kick out a bale, finally. Kick out a bale for me. Aw. Oh. All right, well... I'll, 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 I'll get right. Ooh, never mind. Never mind. Here we go. Here we go. All right. What are you going to do? Because I, I really want to know what this accumulator is all about. Okay. Come on. Come on, little guy. I, I know you can do it. I know it's kind of bumpy. I know that this baler is very heavy. Okay, cool. Oh, it takes it right over to the side. Oh, that's awesome. Oh, I like that. All right, cool. Let's uh, let's get some bailing done. All right. I will admit it. I finally found a task that this little uh, our, our, our nice new little tractor is not good for. It is too short to be driving over the uh, windrows. Yeah, it doesn't like it. Uh, they, 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 they kind of, they kind of really mess with the underside. I now understand why all the paint is wore off that backside. So we're going to go jump in our big case. Well, kind of big case, I guess. And, uh, finish up our bailing. All right. Uh, what do I need to do to get this to drop? Okay, cool. So... There we go. Okay, we got those two done. Yeah, this thing works flawlessly now. I'm kind of in love with it. Oh, this is awesome. <laughs> like, guys, I don't think you I don't think you understand. And plus, now we have a tiny little cute baby bale sitting out there. It's it's kind of a cute little guy. I'm not gonna lie. But now uh what we need to do is pick up bales, which we can do that later. But right now, before I forget, because, well, you guys know me, I forget things very easily. Um, we're going to go and use this tractor exactly what we bought it for. Spraying the fields. Because we need to get some weed sprayed in our cornfield. Because, yeah, while you guys were gone, I may or may not have went over there and looked and... Whoo wee that is a lot of weeds. Okay, we're 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 gonna be spending we're gonna be spending a hot minute spraying some weeds. Okay, I am I am not gonna lose the amount of yield that I lost to the field in the like to our first cornfield. No, ain't happening. All right, we're 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 knocking those weeds out right now. Well, this has taken way longer than it should have. Because I think that this sprayer is kind of broken. Yeah, it keeps missing a lot of spots. It, it has caused us to have to constantly be turning around. And we have run out of most of our daylight. It's it's already almost five o'clock. And when it's when it's five o'clock somewhere, you, you you, you know what Jimmy said, all right? I know you know. So, we're going to call it there, guys. You guys enjoyed today's video, or 
guys and gals if 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 everybody enjoyed today's video make sure you hit that thumbs up if you're new around here consider subscribing i'm gonna get this folded up put away and i will see you all later <laughs>